Hi everyone, Scott and Amy from Sharky's Greenhouses up here in Kerbitz, Wisconsin, and today we're going to be talking about trimming up petunias, and we're specifically, <laughs> hey, nice nice job there, Vanna, we're specifically talking about the big super petunias, and you can see these. They're these, like attacking me. Yeah, this has got some growth on it. So generally speaking, there's two reasons why you would trim up super petunias. And one is to control growth, which is what we're going to be doing. And the second reason is to promote growth. So for us in the greenhouses, uh, the hanging baskets get very crowded and they're kind of growing like this. And then we rip them apart and they look like this. You know, we're, so this has been trailing and, and kind of going through other petunias and growing in and we have to separate them. And now we really need to we can cut them. We have two two ways that we, we do it in our greenhouses. If we don't have the room, we go through and trim them. If we do have the room where we're selling lots of hanging baskets and now we have room to go through and separate them, something like this absolutely will fill out. And um, so sometimes we just let them go. But you can see, like, this side is It's is not bad. Nice. It's just that this was and in with... And then this one is just... That was up up with another hanging basket, and I, and I pulled it out. Yeah, so... Um, what we're going to do with this one and just show it is that we're actually going to go through and trim it up. So I've got my handy dandy little, uh, dram shears and th these are super nice. So, um, they're super sharp. So be careful. Yeah, I I'll try not to cut myself on, on a live video, but these are, these are nice and they're, they're small. They go right in, right in your pocket. These are on our beatyourneighbor.com website. So if you're looking for these, that's where you can find those. And it's a company that's in Wisconsin. Yeah, a local company that, mm -hmm. that makes these. So that, that's fantastic. So I'm going to just use this one. There's Okay, can so we're doing this because we're in the greenhouse, race, right? We're in trying the to control it's growth. Kind of, yep. We're controlling growth. Should they be doing this at home with their baskets? So um, what, what always um, catches my ear uh, when somebody's <laughs> like, Oh yeah, I, I trim up my, my petunia hanging baskets four or five, six times, you know, during the summer. And I, you know, I have to say, whoa, 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 time out. If you're true, well, I'm doing it once. I'm just going to do it once, once and done. If you're trimming these up multiple times, something's wrong. That is a symptom. That's not, you know, that's something else going on. So it's not in enough sunlight. It's competing against something else. Um, it has poor soil or something else is wrong. You have to figure out what the problem is because if you're constantly trimming them up, uh, that's a no go. There, there's something wrong. So for but us in the spring of the year, when you're yeah, just starting your yeah. baskets, they're going to grow. They're like adolescents. They kind of get, they're like in a teenage, yeah, yeah, a little, a little gangly, you know, that kind of that middle stage. Yep. And then they, you know, they have to have that growth promote. So like this guy where he's got such a long one compared to the rest of how nice and round that is going to be. That's what we're taking off. We're trimming them. So that, that gangliness of it kind of, yeah, we're just going to get rid of that. It's like a and, haircut. Yep. Yeah, and it's, it's nothing. Um, it's nothing precision. I'm just going to take my, my shears and go through it and nip that right off. I'm going to cut it to where I want it for right now. Tosses. A lot of this is just going to fill in regardless. So I, you know, I can go through and really, really trim it up and hack it up, but Don't cut me either. But I know that as soon as this gets away from the other hanging baskets that it's competing, once it has some room, it will go through and fill in. Yeah. And so this here where he cut it, it's going to, he cut it here and it's going to actually branch out into two, sometimes three yeah, or they four. Really, they really fill so out. It's so it's going it helps... to fill out and make it fuller for you also. Yeah. It, it, it promotes that growth. Uh, it's, it doesn't hurt them. Don't think that it's going to take you lots of time. We, we'll go through our, our greenhouses and if needed, we'll go through and do 
Yeah, it's hundreds, very quick. Hundreds, hundreds of these. You yeah. don't have to be fussy on it. Now, when you're buying, and I'm going to say, because we're talking about the super petunias, but mm -hmm. I'm going to say real quick, the wave petunias, when you purchase them, it's actually beneficial to snip them. I know it's hard because they have flowers and everybody is like, yeah. no. Um, but snip them when you plant them because that will cause them to get bushier because the wave petunias do tend to trail down more and get a little bit more lanky. Yeah. Yep. And, and, and again, we'll, uh, we have flats of wave petunias and we go through with a hedge trimmer and for us it's controlling growth yeah. because at some point in the greenhouses, they're growing so fast that they're growing faster than what we can sell them. So we know that we'll, we'll have, okay, we're going to take these three, four benches of wave petunias that are really stretching and, and having lots of growth and we'll just cut them right down with a hedge trimmer. Right. Because they're all growing tight up like this. Yeah. And it just, it makes them beautiful. Yeah. And then they're ready for when we're ready to put them out for sale because mm -hmm. then, then they go through, they start growing and growing properly. So again, you know, there's, there is a time, a time and a place for trimming your petunias. But if you're going through summer and you're trimming them up many, many times, you need to stop and say, okay, this is a problem. What is wrong? What is up with, with this? And, um, it's, you know, it's probably sunlight or it's competing against something else and trying to, to outgrow. It's, you know, that's what's happening is these are searching for that sunlight. And this was up against another hanging basket. So they were, they were going out and trying to find sunlight. And when I ripped them apart, then they were just, you know, kind of gangly. Now, the other reason that you would do it, and you might do this numerous times during the year, is if you're trying to control it. So we have huge hanging baskets and we have a kitchen window and it they get so long yeah. and so full that I'm like, you... You've got to go out yeah. and cut that thing so, I cut the so that off. I can see out my window. Yeah, because yeah, otherwise you're in the kitchen window like, are the birds there? I can't see. And so we'll go through and we just, we cut Give the bottom of it. And we and that we have to do throughout the summer. But we know that, you know, it's yeah. there's a reason that we're cutting it. It's and so, that so full. <laughs> Scott doesn't have to squat down two feet and, and you look know, I just want to look at my birds. <laughs> So, so there, you know, that's a legitimate reason, but we're right. not trying to, we're, we're it's controlling growth. It's not because they don't look good. It's yeah, because we're great. trying to control, yeah. you know, maybe it, maybe it's something like you have a deck and you're trying to look out a window like ours in our kitchen, or maybe it's that you only have this much space before you hit a, a railing or something. And you're like, well, I don't want it to come all the way down because yeah. I don't want it to be all over that railing. That would be another reason to trim it. And that's okay to trim it. Um, you you will have more growth and you'll have to trim it, you know. It'll fill out, yeah. yeah it, it, it will. It, it promotes that growth. Um, but yeah, that would definitely be a reason. And it might for not just control. be petunias. It might be you might have potato vine or something that, mm -hmm. you know, like the regular uh, green potato vine, it can get really long and a lot of people just go through and cut it because yeah. you know, they, it'll go it'll trail down six, seven feet. So if you don't want that, give it a haircut. Yeah, but that's not a my something's wrong with my plant or it doesn't look yeah. good. That's not where we're talking. We're talking controlled. Yeah. Controlling that growth. So now mm -hmm. what's my next step? Um, I, I went through and I, and I cut it. Yeah, it's going to be fine. But now let's say I want to really promote the growth. Um, so I'm going to start hitting this with the BE neighbor fertilizer a couple times a week, just because I really want, I want this whole thing to just be full. So now I went through and I cut that growth. Now I want it to fill in. So I'm going to promote that growth with, with the nutrients and you're really, really energize it. And, and so that it will put that energy into the growth and then start blooming. Yeah. Blooming out all this. And it's fun to watch if for everyone who's watched us along the way. These were just itty bitty tiny little plants like a month and a half ago. Yeah. yeah. And this really, I mean, look at this basket. <laughs> Do you see my head in here? I mean, it this is gonna, is huge and it's just a baby. It's going to grow a lot yet. I mean, it's, it, it's not half size yet. No. It's not even half size. You know, that's maybe maybe one third of what it's going to be. It's, and that's it's, the super petunia. Yep. That's the mm -hmm. super petunia. That's from proven winners that Vista series, right? This says the bubble gum, the fuchsia, and then the, uh, the white is the snow drift. Yeah. And they, they just turn out fantastic. 
so anyway, so that's that's the reasons why you uh, you would go ahead and trim up your petunias, and then the the how to. It's it's very easy the how to. Don't be scared. Don't Grab, overthink it. Yeah, do not overthink it. Take your shears, quick, quick, quick. Just give it a give it a haircut, and and uh, it, it will start filling in. Yeah. So thanks for watching. Have a great Hope day. That helps. Bye -bye. Have a great day.